everyone, and welcome to our Kids STEM program for December. I am Miss Liz in the Charlotte County Library and History Division, and today we are going to make salty snowflakes. The supplies you're going to need include a paper plate, pipettes, a container to put rubbing alcohol in, and I have a coffee stirrer to mix the food coloring and rubbing alcohol together. So you're going to need food coloring. I have two different colors, green and blue. You're going to need rubbing alcohol, school glue, and salt. And pour my rubbing alcohol into my two containers here. And just a little bit is needed. Put the lid back on. Next, I'm going to put three drops of food coloring. And this is liquid food coloring, not gel. You don't want the oil. So I'm gonna go one, two, three drops of green. Always put the lids back on your containers to avoid accidental messes later. And one, two, three drops of blue food coloring. Take your straws or coffee stirrers and mix in the food coloring. And then I have my pipettes next to each one. Our next step is you're going to draw a snowflake on the back of your paper plate with glue. Now you can take a pen or a pencil and draw one on if you want, but I have my go-to method for making a snowflake. What I do is I'm going to open the glue all the way, is I make a window pane. And then I do a smaller X here in the middle. And then I draw little V's on the main lines. Our next step is over a trash can, or in my case, I'm going to use the sink next to me. You're going to take your salt and you're going to cover all of the glue that you just drew. Now, over the sink, you're going to shake the plate around to make sure that all of the glue is covered by the salt, and then you're gonna dump off the excess. Now, if you look, you can see that your, your snowflake is now completely salted and you can see the salt crystals. Now you're going to take your pipettes in the different colors and you're just going to drop the color here and there. So you'll notice that you still have salt crystals. Why did the rubbing alcohol not dissolve the salt. That deals with polarity. Molecules that are polar, meaning their electric charge is distributed unevenly, so they have a more positive side and a more negative side. They tend to form hydrogen bonds where nonpolar molecules, which have an equal charge balance, they don't tend to form such bonds. Okay, Rubbing alcohol molecules have a polar and nonpolar part. Salt, and why, so I try to do this experiment with water too. So why use rubbing alcohol when you can mix water with food coloring? Why water doesn't work? Salt is an ionic compound, meaning it's a substance made of electrically charged molecules called ions. When ionic compounds dissolve in water, the individual ions separate and they get surrounded by the water molecules, a process called salvation. That's why the salt dissolves. Salt ions attract the water molecules much more strongly than alcohol molecules do because alcohol is less polar than water. So this means that when there's a lot of salt, all the water molecules will bond to the salt ions and will leave a goopy mess. Because, again, the rubbing alcohol is polar and nonpolar. The bond isn't as strong, and so you're left with your salt crystals. And 
there you have your salty snowflake. So I hope you have fun trying this experiment at home and we'd love to see pictures of how yours turned out.